So it is Joe over for online gaming, ladies and gentlemen. Because seriously put, it feels like this every day somebody's getting caught for cheating. Every day somebody's getting banned for cheating. Every day a company is reaching out to an influencer to promote their game. In this case, it happens to be Black Ops 6. Everybody's bricked up, everybody's hyped up, everybody's doing helicopters with their release. Like this video if you just want a good game, man. Eh? Dislike the video if you love getting killed by cheaters. And we're getting right into it. This one, guys. Roll it. Check this. Here's a picture of Aiden and his head moderator. If okay. you even think about calling Aiden a cheater, he will ban you for life. Oh, damn. You are not allowed to question Aiden's gameplay when this simp is around. Okay, at least uh, he's loyal, you know? I'm just uh, just trying to, trying to look out for the positives, you know? At least he, he's loyal, yeah, yeah. Aiden sends this moderator so much stuff. Controllers, headsets, he gets everything. He often plays with Aiden regularly while dropping high kill games. Jeez. Aiden even paid for his flight to London to sit in the front row in the VIP section of the arena, directly behind back band Natasha. Who is allegedly blacklisted <laughs> by Activision for re- Okay, at this point, I'm doubting that that's his moderator though. Nah, bro, I think he is more than a moderator. He is like the video if you're telling he's more than a moderator. Reasons that are still unclear. He's well, more than a what? moderator. Aiden's head moderator has been caught using engine owning. He has no choice to come clean and admit to everything. Even showing the engine owning checkout of the cheats purchased. If this guy was no. cheating. How many of these streamers and their simps are using- So you're saying if you say Aiden is a cheater, he will ban you from his streams and everything, right? But he was also caught cheating as well. Bumblecloud! Using cheat Bumble software cloud. right now. No! Aiden knew his moderator was cheating the entire time. Before he was caught, he took to Twitter to show off his bank balance of the money he scammed during wager matches. He is considerably well off now, thanks to cheating. And the streamers never said a word about it. Okay. Streamer world is one giant money laundering scam. Man, Biden, where is president? Where is the president at? Biden gotta do something immediately. Biden needs to ban him from fast food restaurants. Uh, effective immediately as a brown man, he needs to be banned from restaurants. Effective immediately. Adrian also loves this guy. It's no surprise as I've caught Adrian Walling recently. He is also using cheat software. <laughs> Streamers and good players know instantly when somebody's cheating. I know when somebody's cheating. You should have thought about that before putting your arm around Aiden's head moderator that you all knew was using cheat software. Aiden, who is a well-known cheating streamer, has taken hundreds of thousands from Activision over the years. Yeah. Let's not forget, they were cheating in last year. Can a brother get two pennies or something like that? How that works, man? Uh, yeah, like two pennies? Y'all got two pennies? World Series from their bedrooms, in which they took around 60,000. Then footage surfaced of his teammate Walling in other games. This cheater Adrian is now playing with Sage and Swag. But let's jump back to Aiden. He is no stranger to cheating, even in Fortnite he was banned for exploiting. Many of the time, believed his ban should have been permanent. But be this account has been banned. Uh, ban length is like, okay, one day, okay. The uh, king would be back by Monday. Okay, okay, one day, one day, that's fine. But even in Fortnite, damn man, Fortnite, Fortnite was considered like the hol holy game, bro. It was considered to be like the, you know, the cheater free game. I mean, you, you do, yeah, people surely cheat in Fortnite as well. Like online gaming is like done. So, but it, honestly, I don't hear that many people cheating in Fortnite. Yeah, right? Like, I, I don't even remember when was the last time I heard somebody was caught cheating. Of course, people do cheat in Fortnite, don't get me wrong, but in comparison to, like, Call of Duty cheaters, bro, Call of Duty cheaters are next level, bro. Like, this thing is crazy, bro. Because he was one of the leading streamers, the ban was just temporary. He was exposed in multiplayer, playing Call of Duty, doing what he does best. Mm. Cheating. As he casually tracked his opponents through the walls, many claimed he was using engine owning. But the rat Damn. blamed it on his headset. Oh, okay. Map knowledge, huh? I was just then listening. Then casually locked to another player through the wall. Bruh. Back in 2021, he was banned. Live. <laughs> during a tournament and had no choice but to post it. The date was the 16th of March, 2021. Guess what also happened on the 16th of March? When uh -oh. Aiden was permanently banned. Aliens reveal? Aliens reveal? UFOs uh, came, they landed, and they used alien technology or something like that? 
what happened? What happened? And guys, right as we get down to the climax here, uh, real quick, I want to say, like, definitely check out the second channel. Yay! On this channel, we upload UFO content and conspiracy content every single day. And if you want to help support the channel so I don't have to take, like, a shitty mobile game as a sponsorship, become a member, man! Come on, man, become a member. Uh, shout out to all, all of you that are members of the channel. Helps out a ton. Helps support the channel. Let me show you some kishish. If you're able to consider becoming a member, helps out a ton. All right, let's get back to the content now, boo boo. That's right. The engine owning van wave was announced by Raven. Of course, the streamer once again blamed. What? So, okay, that day, uh, they had an anti cheat update. So, new band wave earlier today, more to come. Okay, so they banned. Oh, whoa. Engine owning band wave was whoa. announced by Raven. Of course, the streamer once again blamed something. Many streamers, when they get banned, they just make another account and use an unlock tool and a stack copier. Skip forward a few years, and here is Aiden more or less confirming my findings that he used an unlock tool when he created another account. Theoretically, say I did this. What if I got someone to, uh, what if I did unlock all, right? On yeah. Warzone 1. Yeah. Wouldn't, and if, say I got banned, right? Yeah. Wouldn't it get unbanned in Warzone 2 because they're two separate things? Technically, right? These streamers should never be trusted. Yeah. And check this out, apparently. This is a high profile streamers manipulating clips at, to get a player banned. Some time ago, I reported on a streamer for qualifying in the World Series of Warzone. I presented evidence of the streamer using wall hacks. I even showed him doing the same thing that Huskers, Aiden, FIFA Kill, and Biffle all were doing by boosting. Okay. Bruh. Hey, Am I getting lasering everybody? Hey, what? Map knowledge, bro. Map knowledge. <laughs> Man, even in like, bruh, like Warzone, Warzone tournaments are not safe. Warzone is not safe. Call of Duty as a whole is not safe. I should say the online gaming, uh, like online FPS games, are not safe at all. What is going on in gaming? How did we get here? It used to be like, I, you remember, right? Like back in the days. You might get like a rank boost that would get hacked. Your Modern Warfare 2 account would be like uh, hacked and boosted up to Prestige 10, and all your guns would be unlocked and all that. Some someone would be doing God glitch, God mode, uh, where you try to kill the guy but you cannot kill the guy. He has God mode on. You know we had like that sort of uh, things, right? Yeah, like it was pretty all right. It was pretty chill, and, and it used to be like one of those things. It was a relic. It, it's like it was a rare event. If you caught somebody cheating in the game you would hope that they would hack you so you could get you could like unlock everything you would get like prestige 10 or something like that generally speaking right like some people just wanted to grind the game i'm talking about like not the prime time of modern warfare 2 20 2009 i'm talking about after the fact right i would wish for and i would hope for days like uh, somebody would get in my lobby and just would hack me to prestige 10 Going are those days now everybody's cheating everybody's like aimbot this aimbot that hey i i have the most amount of map knowledge i got map knowledge bro i got i got map knowledge it just skills bro it just skills bro so that's what uh suckers are using back in the days like and the hackers were like yeah bro i'm hacking so what huh so what bro i'll give you prestige master right now bro like you know back in the days like the hackers had balls now the hackers they're like hey bro like uh it, it's just map knowledge and it's worse now it's worse Objectively. And evidence of him admitting to cheating in his past. I asked why Activision, and face it, allowed him to qualify. If there's one thing I hate, it's cheating. But I will not be a part of clip manipulation. Okay. The Warzone streamers are all tweeting to have this guy removed from the tournament and manipulating clips. This is the clip the streamers are using. They are tricking people into thinking the pre-firing was the same person, when actually it was not. It was mm -hmm. another play on his team that got the kill. The streamers then cut the clip. This player did not even confirm someone was there, when his teammate asked. The streamers such as Sage, Swag, Breadman and many of the female gamers just farmed impressions. Even Swag? But Swag don't even know what our radar hack is though, so... I was able to get the full clip, and show you exactly why you should never trust or listen to Warzone streamers. Small bit of advice, sound is everything.
Oh, my guy cracked though. He's uh. Bruh, 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 bruh. I will not make any claim to say this streamer is cheating, as he very well could be. Okay. But this evidence provided by these streamers is terrible. The streamers claim aimbot, as this gamer claims aim assist. Mm. This aim is identical to Warzone streamers. So cheating streamers or ch streamers that are accused of cheating are saying this guy's cheating. It's like, yeah, this guy, this guy, not me, bro. This guy, he cheating though, he cheating. Okay, yeah, classic. That's a certified uh, classic. The squad made it in the gulag. If they survive, Hood they classic. Hood classic. Drop, Famous this was working wonders there, brother. With permanently banned idiots like this, <laughs> claiming blatant aimbot from a 15 second clip. No! Failing to do any research, but farm for impressions. Oh, like I have stated, this person may very well be cheating, but this yeah. impression farming is ridiculous, and this clip Yay. is not it. Yay! They Yay. seem desperate, as the streamers then tried to use the- So Swag is like, bro, expose himself, Lamar, and you got Natasha. I, I am that princess. I wanna get BBL. No, I don't have BBL, but I booked an appointment, but, you know, it's all natural. I'm natural. <laughs> this recon drone to confirm cheating. It seems like a bully style behavior. But but I gotta agree, like his gameplay looked like he was cheating. Uh it, it looked like that he was cheating. Uh, but but I like like uh Call of Shame is saying you cannot prove it, okay? Yeah, you cannot prove it. It felt like he was cheating, but but it's ironic when the streamers that are accused of cheating are saying like, oh this guy's cheating. I guess swag is kinda like in the middle. Some people do believe he cheats, some people don't think he cheats. I wanna know where you guys at. I do believe he likes to uh, he definitely loves to he tick tick ticks. He does the tick tick ticks, absolutely. But does he do like the hardcore tick ticks? That I don't know though. None of them have a clue what they're even looking at. A Twitter user provided strong evidence that this recon clip was nonsense, clearly showing the second player visible. The Twitter user made a very good point that these streamers always claim what we look at compared to what they see on their monitors is completely different. Activision have already approved his VODs, so I guess they deem them fine. I am sure Ricochet will be watching the recorded games as we speak. If they believe he is cheating, he will be banned. It will oh, so the results, uh, results, results, the results came out clean? My boy is clean? What? No traces found? That's crazy, man. Hey, man, that's crazy, bro. But guys, check out this video on the screen because this sucker was caught cheating as well. It's insane. We also had like cheats coming to consoles. There was a clip in this one. Once you see it, you're gonna lose all hope in humanity, bro. Check out this video on the screen on the left. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.